point slope form. Our objective is to graph and write a linear equation using point slope form, as well as write a linear equation given two points. Why learn this? You can use point slope form to represent a cost function, such as the cost of placing a newspaper ad. Let's start by looking at using slope and a point to graph. So we're given the slope of 3 and the point 1, 1. So step 1 would be to plot the point 1, 1. Step 2 would be to rise and run your slope from this point. So your slope is 3, so 3 over 1. So up 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1. Once you have your two points, you can connect them with a line, because through any two points, there is exactly one line. Try this next one on your own. Now that you've had a chance to try it on your own, let's try it together. So let's start by plotting the point 3, negative 2. So 3, negative 2. Now we're going to rise and run our slope. So up 1 to the left 2, or down 1 and to the right 2. If you're not sure which way to go, it's a negative slope, so your slope should go in a downward pattern. And now simply connect the lines with a line, or the points with a line, sorry. Take a moment and try this one. Now that you've had a moment to try this one on your own, let's try it together. So let's plot the point 3, 2. And our slope is 0. Well, if there's a slope of 0, what kind of line are you going to have? A horizontal line. So therefore, you have a horizontal line through the point 3, 2. Alright, so now let's look at point slope form of a linear equation. So similar to your slope intercept form where you had y equals mx plus b, this is point slope form where you have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Notice how you're using a point and a slope, hence point slope form. Let's practice. So we want to write linear equations in point slope form. So our point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we have our x and our y, so x1 and y1 here. And now let's just plot in our, or substitute in our values. So we have y minus 0 equals our slope, which is 5 halves, times x, and then minus negative 3. You can simplify this to state y equals 5 halves, x plus 3. Take a moment and pause the video and try b and c. Now that you've had a moment to try b and c, let's try it together. So we have our y, and remember x1, y1, so y minus y1, so y minus 2, equals our slope, so negative 7 times x minus x1. And there you have it. So now let's try c. So we have y minus y1. So we have x1, y1. 
So y minus negative 3 equals our slope times x minus x1, which happens to be negative 2. We can simplify this, so that way we don't have minus negatives. So we have y plus 3 equals 0 times x plus 2. Now let's try writing linear equations in slope-intercept form. But to do this, we're going to use point-slope form since we're given a point and a slope. So in case you've forgotten, point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we're going to substitute our values in. So we have y minus negative 2 equals our slope, which is negative 4, times x minus x1, so x minus negative 1. We can simplify, so we have y plus 2 equals negative 4 times x plus 1. It says it wants it in slope-intercept form. Well, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So therefore, we need to get y by itself and then simplify the right-hand side. So let's start by simplifying the right-hand side. We need to distribute the negative 4. Remember to always keep the sign with the number. So we have negative 4x and then negative 4 times positive 1 is minus 4. Now we can subtract 2 from both sides. When you subtract 2 from both sides, remember you can only add and subtract like terms. So we can't subtract 2 from our four, negative 4x, but you can from our negative 4. So we have y equals negative 4x and then minus 6. Take a moment and pause the video and try this next one on your own. When you return to the video, an answer will be revealed. So start with your slope form, your point slope form. Plug everything in. Solve for y and simplify the right hand side of the equation. And you have y equals one third x plus two. All right, so now let's look at using two points to write an equation. Well, when you're given two points, you need to start by finding the slope. So this is when you need to use your slope formula. So you have the change in y over the change in x. So therefore, we have 2 minus negative 4 over 3 minus 1. And when we simplify, we end up with 6 halves, which then reduces further to 3. So this is our slope. This is our m. Substitute the slope and one of the points into point-slope form. It does not matter which point you use. Just only substitute in one of them. So, we have y minus, we're going to just use this one, why not? No negative in there. So y minus 2 equals 3 times x minus 3. And it said in slope-intercept form, so we simply need to solve for y. So we're going to distribute our 3. So we have 3x minus 9 equals y minus 2. Add 2 to both sides. 
and we end up with y equals 3x minus 7. Try this next one on your own. When you return to the video, the answer will be revealed, much like it was in one of the previous questions. So step one, use our slope formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Our second coordinate, our first coordinate. And that gives us our slope of negative 3. So now I just picked the first coordinate to plug in. So we have y minus negative 7 equals negative 3 times x minus 4. To put this in slope intercept form. We want to simplify our right hand side and then get y by itself. So we're going to distribute the negative 3 and then we're going to subtract 7 from both sides leaving us with y equals negative 3x plus 5. Alright, so a problem solving application. The cost to place an ad in a newspaper for one week is a linear function of the number of lines in the ad. The cost for 3, 5, and 10 lines are shown in the table to the right. Write an equation in slope-intercept form that represents the function. Then find the cost of an ad that is 18 lines long. You can pick any two of these ordered pairs. It doesn't matter which two. For the purpose of this, we're going to pick this one as our first ordered pair and this one as our second. So we can do 18.5 minus 13.5 because we need to find our slope. Just like we did when we had two coordinates, we used our two coordinates to help us find our slope. So now our x would be 5 minus 3. which leaves us with 5 over 2, or you can use 2.5. So now substitute the slope and any ordered pair from the table into the point slope form. So we can use y minus, and we can use any one of these. So why not use our 10 and 31? So y minus 31 equals 2.5 times x minus 10. Once again, you just needed two coordinates so you could find your slope, and then you just need one of these three coordinates in your point slope form. So now we're going to put point put our that point slope form into slope intercept form. So we're going to solve for y. So we're going to distribute our 2.5, and then we're going to add our 31 to both sides, just like we did in our previous example. This leaves us with y equals 2.5x plus 6. Once you've put it into slope-intercept form, you can now find the cost of 18 lines by substituting 18 in for x. So we have y equals 2.5 times 18 plus 6, which gives $51. So the cost for 18 lines is $51. And this ends our lesson on point-slope form.